You know what she reminded me of just doing that? What? Like one of those little flies that you go. Inside of this bag is the world's greatest food ever created. The Mexican pizza a la verga. You're Hispanic and everything, but the fact that you've never had a Taco Bell Mexican pizza is crazy to me. I think I'm more Hispanic than you at this point. No. Me das un vaso de agua, por favor? You know what that means? No, I don't know what that means. Exactly. Yeah. Quick pop quiz. When did the Mexican pizza get discontinued from Taco Bell? 2021. Congratulations, you win! It was also invented in 1985. By who? What? By Taco Bell. Who was the famous chef that created it? I don't think there was a famous chef. You lose! So you get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! Oh! Should we take a thumbnail real quick? No, it's all good. You don't want to do one of those like... Oh my god, this fucking thing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I asked you guys to ask a bunch of questions on... Instagram as we eat, but before we answer these questions, you gotta have a bite. Can I trade? I want that one. It's more cheesy. I want the one with. I asked for the extra cheese. You know me with the extra cheese. Thanks. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The minute she bites it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it? How is it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, right. I haven't ate all day today. Yeah. Does it taste like just like you remember? Oh my god, it's high school all over again. I was sad as hell when they discontinued it. It's been a while since I've had one. All right guys, you guys asked some questions. We're gonna answer and hang out with you guys. Is the cost of living worth living in LA? Absolutely not. No. LA's dope though. It is the capital of escape rooms, which I happen to be a major fan of. We've been going on escape room binges, man. I mean, look at this picture, and this picture, and this picture, and this one, and we did this one, and we did that one, and we did this escape room. <laughs> I'm just a big fan of them. I think it's really dope. If you haven't done one yet, just go do one in your local city, bro. You'll have a good ass time. Okay, it's DDG's. No, no, no. Is it Dub's fault? Speak of the devil, it's Dub. Would you say it was you or your brother that got us into an escape room? I can't remember. Oh, wait, when the first one we went to? For my birthday. The first one me and Val ever went to? The, the scary the one. The basement. Oh, that was me. Remember, I, I did that for so it was Dub. So mm -hmm. it's Dub's fault that we got into escape room. We went to that one, and I've been a fan of escape rooms ever since. Even though sometimes I might be a bit of a <laughs> There was one escape room we went to where we had to crawl inside of this like vent thing. This thing was chasing us, and I'm jumping over Brittany, and I'm kicking whoever's behind me. <laughs> Bro, I was like, ah! I, like, I literally have so much fun doing escape rooms. I don't know how I veered off into escape room. Damn, I I paused the camera for two seconds to talk to Dub. It. I was done eating it. I was on my last bite when you shut the camera off. And you're almost done with the burrito? Yeah. You're when I say I cut the camera for literally two minutes to talk to Dub real quick, the whole thing is vacuum sealed gone. Well, hungry. Anyways. What kind of mukbang is that? I'm gonna have one half your taco. <laughs> How? No! Yes. No! I haven't ate all day! <laughs> what's our what's your guys' favorite show to watch? What's me and your favorite show to watch? Right now I'm on an AGT binge. I've been watching America's Got Talent. Every magic show is so good. It's so good. Together? Well, okay, so together it would be uh like cooking shows and stuff. Yeah, we watch a lot of cooking wow, shows. Wow, we we're so we're at that age where we're that old that we get entertained by watching cooking shows. No, we also watch this like tattoo artists that have their partner pick a tattoo that they have to get on them. Yeah, we've been watching like Is It Cake? Um like a lot of art shows kind of. We watch that rom romance thing. The ultimatum. We watch the ultimatum. I don't know. We kind of just pick a show, binge it all the way, and then we'll just stop for a little bit, and then we'll pick, pick up something, yeah, pick, pick something else. What is it like living together as YouTuber entertainers? Well, Valentine originally wasn't a YouTuber slash entertainer, but now she kind of is. So it's, it's funny like, though because before I had met you, I had wanted to do YouTube. Yeah. Which is how we got connected. Yeah. You need to pick it up. First of all, yeah. Go subscribe I and will. give her some motivation. We do the most <laughs> randomest things all the time, and when I tell you guys this, I do not ever know when he's pranking me because throughout the day with the camera off, he will still prank me. Thinking about stuff, planning things, filming. If I'm not filming for myself, like today, I want to go film something with the shade. I don't know. Just always trying to do something every single day. I think that's what keeps it interesting. Mm, I know. 
Oh. Okay, we have that one. You gave me the crust. You That's had nice. your own. That's so unfair. You had your whole pizza. You're so just give me a little bite. No, that's Just not fair. So we can get one tomorrow if you really want. Yes, I would like to go get one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a pizza. Yes, sir. It it's not. Don't disrespect no the Don't not here. disrespect the Mexican pizza like that. They have it in a circle, so they call it a pizza. There's literally a flat taco. My ass is a flat taco. <laughs> so is it a Mexican pizza? No, no it's not. It's a Filipino pizza. <laughs> My favorite memory of us? I remember I was really happy when I, Valentine dipped out and she went to London for like a long ass time and I was really happy and excited to see her when she got back. That's really sweet. Oh, you're trying to think of a favorite memory. There's so many. I don't know. It's just like whenever she's like really happy, like when we go to like Disney or something, her eyes light up and she's just, oh, yeah, yeah. She was telling me how she really wanted animals. Oh, so, so I brought a bunch of animals here. I just like moments like that. It's it's not about like how much how expensive or anything. It's like when I got her her first snake, her eyes lit up. I know, and I was really like, I know what my favorite favorite memory is. What? When you first told me you love me because I knew that you actually meant it. And that was the first time I ever saw you crying too. I think that's my most favorite favorite memory. Did you notice that there was a hair right there? Yeah, it's yours. That's my hair? Yes. And my hair is not that short. Babe, your hair is everywhere. You shed as much as a dog shed. I went into I went into the shower today, clumps. <laughs> no just, way. Yes, I did. I Michael Jordan it into the Um not a question, but you guys are my favorite couple for real. Appreciate you. And underscore seven eight nine oh. There. Val looks Asian more Asian than me. Oh yeah? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Who's the better gamer? Him, definitely. Me, mm -hmm. bro. I put her on to gaming. Mm -hmm. Speaking of gaming. I got a tournament that I'm planning on putting together soon, so just keep an eye out for that. You're all adding the... the no, I'm not telling you guys... Just so you guys know! I'm not saying anything, but just know that there's a prize pool, cash, it's gonna be big. If you play Call of Duty, if you play Fortnite, if you play any of that, be prepared. Uh, when is the next trip we're going on? I think this year we're really just trying to focus on our channels and just building and doing like more exciting things, especially on yours with all the like all these artistic ideas and like things that you want to make huge and like we still do fun things. She skipped out on the Austin trip. That would have been oh, fun. Oh yeah. I didn't go to that. But didn't the house smell amazing when you came back? It smelled clean. How do you guys keep the relationship alive? We argue. <laughs> Get off! <laughs> yeah, we do argue. We I mean, argue. Every, every couple is gonna argue. That everyone's gonna have their disagreements or their misunderstandings. I feel like you have to. At least have one good argument in the month, and then you just say your like do's and don'ts, and then hug it out, get the costs going. We just kind of do a lot of fun things together. I think it's always alive. I don't think there's ever really a dull moment. She's very competitive. I'm very competitive. That's where we argue. And he's also an Aries, so his fire sign is just nothing to do with no signs. It does. Signs mean no. nothing. I want no yes. If Thank you're you. watching right now and you're talking about all these signs, that's see, this is an argument right here because all that sign stuff that's such an LA thing, man. No, no, it's not just an LA thing. People from freaking everywhere in the world ask me that, and I don't consider this an argument. I think this is more disagreement. It is a disagreement. I don't think signs don't tell you nothing. Who made up signs? Like, oh, we're just gonna call this an Aries. You know what my Chinese sign is? A horse. I'm a it, rat. Exactly. A little mouse. That's why I have a little mouse right here. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, nah. It doesn't tell you about you. Like, they guess. They're like, oh, let me tell you about yourself. You are the type of person that likes money. <laughs> How do you know? And then like, oh yeah, I guess I'm an Aries. Like, no. No, it's based off your characteristics. I'm pretty sure what they did was they got a lot of people in, born in April. All and right. then born in different months, did tests, and I'm then I'm just gonna edit it. all of this out. <laughs> Nobody cares about this science. Trust me, a lot of people do. Okay, if you care about the science, you can talk to Valentine on her channel. I think all that stuff is, I'm the Grinch to that stuff. It's just habalahu. Because you're an Aries. Uh, when y'all first met, was it love at first sight, and who wears the pants in the relationship? Well, She gets I, one leg, I get one leg. I get the right leg, because mainly I'm always right. No, you're not. Just say this with me. Valentine? Say it. No. Say Valentine? No. Just say Valentine! Valentine. See? I got him to say my name. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up. Okay, stand up real quick. Just real quick. You want just me, sit up. Are you gonna show them my pants? No, just stand up. <sighs> See, I got her to stand up. <laughs> because when I put it, you were gonna start crying about it. That's what I knew you were gonna do. I literally knew you were gonna do that. I did it so you wouldn't start crying about it. 
Like I said, we both wear the pants. No, we don't. You didn't answer the first question what? from that one. Well, what was it? The love oh, it was a love at first sight. Wow. He doesn't remember. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, if we're talking about like the technical first time, yeah. You had one too many to drink that day, and I was drinking nothing, so I remember. But for me, it was like sparkles. But I had to say no because I wasn't emotionally ready then. Physically, we were attracted to each other when we first met, and then later down the road, we got to know each other. So that's how that all worked out. All right, last question. Is there a little Chino? Is Valentine pregnant? Are we still together? All those things you guys have been asking. Yes, the answer is yes, we're still together. I love Valentine. And um, are we having a little Chino? Should we just tell him now? You guys are gonna have to wait and find out, honestly. As of right now, there is no little Chino, but it doesn't mean we haven't been trying. Um, trust me, I've been putting as much effort as I can Just <laughs> There's children on here. I know. I've been trying to shoot them in there. I just don't know. <laughs> like axe throwing. I'm just trying. But, you know. My niece watches my channel, so I'm not going to say that. But anyways, Future Chino added all that out. Long story short, we're trying. trying. We're trying. Brittany's on her ass about all that all the time. Like, when are you guys going to have a baby? Then Dub's on my ass. Bro, you should just... just... Your sister. Always your sister. I my mom. Know. Oh my god, my mom. Everybody, man. Everybody. I'm tired of hearing it. I go. We're trying. And you guys have another baby and leave me alone. I'm trying, giving it all she's got. But anyways. Wait, I have a question. Down below in the comments, who do you think, what do you think we should have if you could see us with the baby? A boy or a girl? Either way. I one. honestly don't care. You know, whatever God wants to bless me with, I'm cool with him. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. But anyway. As long as they're healthy <laughs> and uh, good at math. And that's all that matters, bro. <laughs> Come home with straight A's. 4.0. I'm not going to be that parent. I like I'm going to be that parent. I have high expectations for my child. To like just if you do whatever they want to do in life. No, I mean saying. obviously. But they're all in. Don't it. be dee -de dee, but like, you know, I didn't. I, I'm not one to judge or be on their case. Like, you know, I was better at certain things. Like, I literally almost didn't graduate because of social studies. I had to be homeschooled for social studies. Social studies is so easy though. Not for me. You know me. I forget things. Like, I'm like Dory. Like. Well, that's when John Adams in like, bro, I don't even know who John Adams is. Really try. <laughs> Sorry. Bro, let me just say this right now, bro. Before we moved into this house, Valentine said. No, but the dogs ruined that. Bro, before we moved into this house, Val's number one thing was she wanted to be a plant mom. She wanted to have this <laughs> luscious garden in the back. But and I was, they were the, sprouting and the dogs went and they dug it all up. But still, at the same time, some of them didn't even just grow. <laughs> yes, they did. I was no, they getting... didn't. That one, it needs only a little bit amount of water. That's what I read on the thing. I don't know what's going on with it. I even tried <laughs> singing a song to it, and I just don't know about these Imagine plants. if you're a plant in a store, and you're getting chosen by Valentine. <laughs> you just know it's not going to work out. Watch me bring it back to life, and then you're going to feel real, real feel, funny about I it. I feel bad for plants. Under my care? Yeah, yes. The, well, look, wait, 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 before you stop the camera. Oh, look at all that greenery on it. Yeah, boy. See? That's not all bad. See? <laughs> you guys enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you do me a huge favor. Go down below, destroy the like button. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, if you woke up today, you already got the double U. You feel me? Wolf King. Yeah.